Hi there, my name is Tyler, and uh, as you can see, I've got a dual rock band drum kit set up for use in Reason 4. Um, there's a bunch of tutorials that will show you how to set it up on the Mac for use in GarageBand, but uh, I found GarageBand lags a lot, and uh, I got my, my latency down to one millisecond in Reason. So, as you can see... No latency. So, uh, let me just show you a little... Uh, demo of what it's capable of. Okay, so now let me show you how to set it up. So I'm assuming if you're watching this tutorial, you already have Reason, and uh, you don't want to spend a grand on a digital drum kit. Uh, you probably already have GarageBand, or Rock Band rather. Um, basically what I've done is taken uh, my original Rock Band kit, I had it set up on the PC, uh, but uh, I'm switching over to the Mac, obviously. I got the new MacBook and uh, it's blowing my mind, so I really wanted to get it working on the Mac, and this is how I did it. Um, well, secondly, uh, once I got the original Rock Band kit set up on the PC, I wanted I wanted more more than four drums, obviously, because it's not a full kit. So I went to Toys R Us and bought a second uh, wired Xbox 360 Rock Band drum controller for $35, um, and I basically just uh, taped it to uh, my original kit, uh, and it, it works just fine. So let me show you how to set it up on the Mac. So first of all, you're going to need a couple pieces of software. To get the, the uh, Xbox 360 drums, uh, harmonics drum controllers working uh, or uh, initializing so you can see them on the Mac, you need to go to um, mice-software.com. Uh, let me just minimize this thing. That's, that comes later. So you go to mice-software.com right here, and you go to products. And you're going to want to download the 360 controller driver. There you go through there and you download it. Install that and uh, then I'm pretty sure you have to reboot your Mac and then you pretty much just uh, plug your controllers into your USB ports and it should uh, it should find them. Now if you go to system preferences after you reboot there will be this uh, Xbox 360 controllers icon. If you click on that it shows you controller 1 wired, controller 2 wired, and if you hit the pads, uh, these uh, icons light up. So just to make sure that it is working, you might want to do that, but uh, it should work no problem. Okay, once you have that installed, you're going to go to a, a website called uh, www.carveware.com. Right here, carveware.com. And you're going to want to download the GamePad Companion. So download that install it and uh, I'm not sure if you have to reboot I usually reboot after I install stuff um, because it tends to work much better but uh, anyway once once that's installed uh, you're gonna go to your system preferences again and you're gonna find this gamepad companion icon you click on that mine's running already obviously uh, otherwise it wouldn't be working in reason but uh, you should have your two drum kits here harmonics drum kit one and harmonics drum kit two. Um, now this this takes a little bit of setup. Basically, what you've got to do if you already have it set up for for GarageBand, you're going to have to reconfigure it. Uh, basically, what you do is you click on your first drum kit, you go and uh, hit the pad or or kick the kick pedal, and it's going to pop up as uh, a current key mapping. Um, once uh, once you uh, let me let me just do it. I'm gonna hit the kick pedal. Okay, and I've got it mapped to Z. But uh, if you don't have it mapped, it's not gonna show anything. Basically, then once once it's triggered, uh, you click this single key here. Click single key, and then press the letter you want to have it mapped to. So I've got it mapped to Z. So I'm gonna hit Z again. Okay, so that's mapped to Z. Now basically, what you need to do is. Uh, map, I should tell you about this other piece of software before you go ahead and map everything uh, because you're going to have it mapped all wrong. 
Um, I've got a MIDI keyboard here, and basically I've got it all set up in Reason already, um, so that all these keys trigger. Here, let me go over to Reason. I've got my uh, my drum rack here, and uh, the, the I'm pretty sure it's the, I had to remap all the uh, drum sounds um, to my MIDI keyboard. Okay. So if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, it doesn't matter. You don't you don't need a MIDI keyboard to do this. Um, basically, it's just the mapping. So let me show this the the last piece of software you need so that we can map it um, properly. You go to a website called uh, MIDI Keys, and it's at www.many.com etas.com slash creed slash midi keys. If you google midi keys, um, midi keys, uh, it's the first one you come to. So you just click on that. Um, download this uh, midi keys 1.6 b3 and install that and hide everything here. Once you have that installed, fire that up and uh, you're going to need to go into the preferences. No, you're not going to need to go into the preferences. You can, you can go into the preferences anyway and set it up the way you can make it transparent. Uh, I've made it um, so that it's always on top because if you, if you don't have this program selected, uh, the keyboard's not going to trigger. So um, I've made it always on top so I can always select it when I'm in reason uh, to make it active. So one thing you are going to need to do is um, octave I believe you have to octave down a couple times uh, in order to get these these keys synchronized with what an actual MIDI keyboard is so there's the kick there's the snare there's the uh, rim shot toms okay so now we go back into um, System Preferences to the Gamepad Companion. I'm just going to minimize this because you don't want to see two of me. Oh, it won't let me. Uh, how about I pull up Reason and then pull up... Oh, my control surfaces are going haywire. Okay, so now you select your first harmonics drum kit. Uh, click the pad or kick the kick. And what you want to do is map it to... So you're going to click back on MIDI keys. And you want to map the kick to Z. Okay, and you, if I hit X, that's my rim shot. If I hit S, that's my snare. If I hit C, that's my tom one. V is my tom two. G is my tom three, and so on and so on. So you can basically uh, map it to however you want. I basically set my bottom rack to uh, the snare, tom one, tom two, and tom three, and my top rack to, um, what do we got? Uh, we got hi-hats on the first, open hi-hat on the second. Uh, the ride is actually set to the, uh, the green pad, and the crash symbol is set to the blue pad. Okay, so basically, uh, it's going to take a lot of setup, but once you get it set up, um, it's, uh, it's going to blow you away. Because then, when you come into Reason, oh, one more thing, once, once you uh, get into Reason, you're going to have to go to your uh, preferences and you're going to have to add a new MIDI controller. Uh, so basically what I did was I uh, just clicked add, um, other, uh, just a MIDI control keyboard and then the MIDI input is actually MIDI keys. So you select MIDI keys and click OK. I'm not going to click OK because I already have it set up but that's what you're going to have to do in Reason uh, in order to record. Okay. So uh, hopefully this tutorial was uh, helpful, and uh, yeah, you should be rocking in no time.